you will be surprised as Atiku still shares the same thoughts of ranching. You know, Fego Tejo has told Atiku, someone should tell Atiku, Benway won't back down on the ranching law. You know, Atiku Abubakar, in trying to win the North because he wants to contest for election and is trying to get people to come on his side, has been asking and has been saying that they should be lenient on the grazing law. You know, Benway made things tighter recently. The same law that has been enacted before, they just squeezed on the net knot and it became really tight for Fulani headsmen. And so Atiku has been, you know, uh, trying to say they should be understanding with um, the Fulani headsmen. And Benway people has replied him, if you want to go for your election, please eh, don't use us. We are not your campaign to or enhance materials to be able to tell the North or the South what you want to do. We are not part of it. We, as Benway people, have stated the law and we are keeping by that law. Okay? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Someone should tell Atiku, Benway won't back down on ranching law. On the eve of his planned visit to Benway State, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar is quoted to have promised to review the anti-grazing law in some states for comp compatibility with the Nigerian constitution. The Benway state is one of such states Atiku promised to look into for the Fulanis. The former vice president will be in Benway on Sunday, which is today, February the 6th, 2022, to continue on his consultation for the 2023 presidential election. This is even as there is danger among the thieves speaking people, where he held one of the most prized chief Taisi title, Ziga Moli Ute, of the thief, the shelter of thief people. Atiku is accused of not showing sympathy to the killings of the thief people by his kinsmen, the Fulanis. He is not known to have visited personally or in representative capacity to send relief materials to the thousands of display people scattered all over Thieve land or even publicly speaking against the, the, the evil that the Fulani headsman has been doing visited on the Thieve people and the entire Benway state by the Fulani men. The former Vice President is further quoted to have said that the Nigerian constitution guarantees freedom of movement of citizens and suggests that headers should not be an exception. If one may ask, how does free movement bring killing among communities to the point that being invaded and other invading our ancestral land forcefully taken away from us with cause of daily killings? Then suddenly, Atiku Abubakar finds it convenient to put forward such an irritating proposal. It is clear that this proposal is already in conflict with the position of Benue State, and we have a strict anti-grazing law and have been and have been in, 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 in force since 2017. For us in Benue State, we won't compromise such review of our law. We won't back down on the law in whatever form we are conservative with the thinking by some unsubscription elements who unjustly believe that the Benway law was specifically authenticated towards the Fulanis who are predominantly headers and are carrying out all forms of atrocities. So in trying to get the Fulanis to come to his side, remember that the Fulanis have already told, uh, they've already given their allegiance and their support to you know their support to to um to Tinubu. Atiku is trying to woo them over to come to his side. And what did he do? He's telling them that he should not worry. If he's voted for and he becomes the president, he's going to review that law. That anti-grazing law, they should not worry. In fact, he's going to amend it with the constitution. All these South South that are saying that they are put a ban on grazing. Oh, they should not worry. All the Fulani needs to do is just to vote him in. Can you see politics in play again? This is what they do. 
not because they care for you. And that's what Nigerians must begin to understand. Don't you think they care? And sincerely, they are trying to bring a solution into the space to sort out the issue. That's never their, that's never their plight or their interest. So if that's what you're thinking, I beg your pardon. I, 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 I beg to defer that you are speaking, you're speaking your own words in your own terms. And um, you may be very wrong, very, very wrong and nothing but wrong. You know, these people do not care. They don't care what's happening to you. They don't care. Can you imagine? He has never spoken about the killings and all that that have been going on. What Fulani Hesman has been doing. Just that quest to be the president, you know, is so much burning on the inside of him. that has even begged Nigerians that if he's given an opportunity, he will only spend one tenor. Probably they told him that he has to bear the name of president before he dies. So in whatever way, capacity or form or kind that he can bear that name, that's what he wants to do. Maybe, you know, because you've been the vice president for eight years. I know it's not the same thing as being the president. Tell, trust me, I know that there's a big difference, okay? You being the one in, in charge and you being somebody who, even if you have an opinion to a large extent, especially in Nigeria, you may not be, your voice may not be heard, even if you are the vice president. Yes, even if you are the vice president. So these are some of the things that are going on, some of the things that are happening, and the time to act, the time to rise up, and the time to make a decisive change is now. The time to rise up, the time to say no no more, okay? No more oppression in the land, no more, you know, for those who want to continue to perpetrate evil and to carry it out. Can you imagine still trying to integrate farmers and herders and all that the southern governors have done? Those who have worked very hard to see to it for protection of life and property of their citizens. Are you trying to tell them that they've made a mistake? Or I don't get it. Because you want the full news to come to your side. Can you see desperation? Can you hear desperation speaking? This is how desperate a man is. And you're, you're sure that this kind of person that is this desperate, you know, when he becomes Nigerian's president, will do anything for the people. You have not even spoken on how the people are being killed and all that is going on with them. No sympathy at all. You have a chief title title from that very same land, but it has not driven you, okay, to, to think about the people, to condemn with strong terms some of the evil going on, and then um, you want to tell the people that you have something to offer. What exactly do you have to offer? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless.